hello. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna change my lighting here a little bit. Hello, hello. Where are my party girls at? Oh my goodness, you guys. I wish you could have seen the chaos that was like the last 10 minutes, okay? And this is why I always preach being prepared. <laughs> Oh my goodness, say hi as you pop on, okay? Say hi. Whew, I'm gonna catch my breath. I was not going to do this in my kitchen. No, I'm in my kitchen. I didn't even have a chance to clean my kitchen. I normally go live from my office. Yeah, but I went down to my office just now and I went to hit go live and it said, no internet. And I'm all, what? <laughs> oh, now's not a good time for that. <laughs> Hi, Brittany. Hey, Mary Ellie. <gasps> Carrie, how are you, Brittany? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm catching my breath here. And I apologize if there's an echo because, yeah, like I said, this is not where I would normally do this. Um, so everything's kind of a mess. <laughs> my computer is now on my kitchen counter and um, my notes that I would have had out in front of me are like on my lap. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna jump in. I do not, hey Carly girl. Hi Vicky. Um, I'm just gonna jump into this because this obviously is a hot topic, right? Hot, 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 hot. Um, and it's something I could probably talk on and on and on about. So we're gonna have to kind of like, uh, you know, put this in a nutshell. Grab a hello from Germany. Oh, it's like my motherland. <laughs> That's where my family's from. Literally, like that's where my mom was born. Um, so we're gonna talk parties, okay? Grab a notebook, grab a pen, because you're gonna wanna take notes. You're gonna wanna take notes. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, so my name is Mary Lutz. I am an orange status presenter. And I always think it's so weird when you have to introduce yourself like that, like what status you are, because that to me is just very odd. I always like in my head, I have a black status mindset with a white status adrenaline. You guys know what that means? Like I'm laser focused like a black status presenter and I have that energy of a white status presenter. Do you guys know what that energy is? Do you remember? Probably a bunch of you are here white status right now. So you know what that feels like. Like you can't sleep at night, you wake up at night and you're like, okay, what am I gonna do next, you know? Hi, Lee. Hello, beautiful. Um, okay, so I'm gonna ignore the comments, otherwise I'm gonna say hi to everybody, and I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. So I have been with this company for four years. Four years. That is a lot of party script changes. <laughs> I've been doing parties for four years. I learned probably three years into this adventure that parties are golden, okay? They are like, they're the best gift we could be given in regards to our business. So when I started this business, of course I tried doing vendor events and I was doing in-home parties and I mean, you name it, I was loading up my car with stuff and driving all over Timbuktu to sell mascara. And I say mascara because it was four years ago and let's get real, that's all we have really. <laughs> um, and it, it wore on me. It just wore on me because, hey girl, hey. Um, the entire purpose of this, or the entire model, purpose of the model that we have is that we can work from our phone. It's not that we can haul everything in our car and drive all around the state, no. We get to work from our phone. So it was in that moment of just being exhausted from doing events, and don't get me wrong, events are amazing and they do have a purpose, but I was just running on exhaustion and I knew I had to figure out how to be able to do parties. And I did, <laughs> and I did, <laughs> so. You guys have your pen and paper? I'm literally going to give you my party script, okay? Word for word, you're getting my party script. Um, 
if I had not had the Wi-Fi snafu that I had like 30 seconds before I went live, I was gonna have images already posted in the comments here, but you know, didn't happen. So as soon as I'm done going live, I am gonna post a few of my images here in the comments, and I will tell you exactly what posts they go to so you can see how I do my images, okay? Because that is a big part of this, right? It's a, it's a huge part of this. So first off, when I do my, my wording on my posts, I keep it short and simple. I mean, most of my posts, you guys, are like two sentences. They're so little, okay? Now, I want you to look at me. Like, look me in the eye. <laughs> no, but really look at me for a second. And I want you to, to tell me, is there something that you see? And besides the gray hair, yes, I know I need to get that covered up. <laughs> what do you see? Like if you saw me as the presenter in a party you were attending, what would you see? Because this is one of the biggest components in regards to a party. Lashes, right, you see lashes. Totally, you see lashes. A happy person, yeah, right? And that comes across, high energy. So we talk, I mean, you guys are totally hitting it. When I do my parties, I am not focusing on eye makeup. I'm not focusing on eyebrows. I'm not focusing on uh, highlighting and contouring. I can't even say it, so why would I focus on it? <laughs> I'm not focusing on a lippy. I'm not focusing on, what else do we have, you guys? I don't know. I don't know. I am focusing on lashes and foundation. That is all I cover in my parties every single time, okay? So in order for me to get that point across, every single picture or video that I post, I actually have very little makeup on. Now, I'm gonna say my makeup game is up to today because, I mean, it's you guys, I had to put a little bit more on, right? <laughs> so normally, um, normally there's no contouring, no highlighting. I would never have even this under here. Um, it would be very, very minimal every single time. Half the time, I don't even have eyeliner on, okay? Okay, so, um, okay, let's just go do this. You guys want my party script, right? <laughs> so, well, well, let's start in the beginning here, actually. How do you even get a party, right? How do we get parties? That's like the million dollar question. And the answer I give everybody, which makes everybody like, mm, squirming in their seat, right? You just got to ask. You gotta ask. So here is what I have found. And this is like the kiss of death answer when I tell people, you're gonna have to ask <laughs> like 35 to 50 people probably in regards to cold asking, okay? You're gonna have to ask 35 to 50 people to get one yes. That's exhausting. Right? That's totally exhausting. And I think that's part of the reason we just get so frustrated and we really don't want to do parties because that rejection rate is huge. I get it. I totally get it. When I send out 50 requests for a party and I only get one back, I'm like, dang, do I smell? Like what in the world? <laughs> But once you get that initial party, it gets so much easier, you guys. It gets so much easier. Um, I hate this. I'm not sitting at my desk, you guys. <laughs> ah, I feel so disoriented. Um, okay, so here we go. Once a month, once a month, you need to sit down and you need to go through and you need to send out those 200 requests or whatever it is to get your three, four parties for the month. It is 
not the most fun task in the world, but it's the task you have to do to get the parties to move ahead. And you want the parties, and we're gonna talk about that later, like what, what that big picture really means, okay? It's not just about PRS. It's not at all. Okay, so when I send out my messages, this is how it goes, okay? And I'm gonna read it to you because I just wanna make sure it, you know, sometimes you can think you're saying something right, but you really don't. <laughs> I do that all the time. So I'm gonna read this to you. Um, okay, Amy, why don't we do a beauty boot camp for you this month? Let's get you some white cash that you can use next month when you go to reorder your foundation, you know, whatever item it is, okay? Um, they're super fun, they're 10 days. I guarantee your friends are gonna have a blast. Um, so I guarantee your friends will have a blast. They're gonna walk away with a bunch of makeup tips and tricks. How about May 12th, period? Like, I don't even ask if she wants to do it. I'm just like, hey, how about May 12th, right? So a couple things just happened in that message. I showed her, I am completely aware of everything. I'm aware she's about to be out of touch liquid foundation. I just showed her I am in her court and I wanna get it to her for free, okay? I just showed her I'm kind of in charge. I'm just like, hey, here's the date, you wanna do it? I don't say ever, do you wanna do a party? In any way, shape, or form. Because I guarantee nine times out of 10, the answer is gonna be no. But if I say, hey, does May 8th work for you? They're like, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> you almost like, I mean, don't you feel when somebody says something like that to you, you're like, uh, uh, yeah, sure, okay. I'm not like, no. <laughs> okay, so that's how I get it going. All right, here we go. Um, the actual, the actual party is 10 days. Okay. The first three days is mascara only. Two days of esteem and about three days of foundation. And then we wrap up. Okay. So I am probably going to lose my energy a little bit here because I'm going to be reading stuff right off my computer. I figured that was the best way for me to do this is literally have your pen and paper ready. You're probably going to watch this a few times. I am literally going to read each post to you, okay? So, let's get going here. Okay, so how this works is day one, I set up my group, right? I add in a great cover photo. I never, I never use an image that has anything to do with unique. Okay, no makeup in the image, no bottles of foundation on a beautiful counter, nothing. My cover photo for every beauty boot camp is an inspirational quote, every time, okay? So I do my, my cover photo, I set the group up, I obviously add my hostess in, I make her an admin. I do a brief description. I don't waste my time on doing a huge description. Nobody looks at it, you guys. Don't worry about it. My very first post in the party, uh, party post, pre-party post number one, okay? Ready? We're gonna start writing. <laughs> Worried about ordering a cosmetic online? Don't. We want you to love it. You have 90 days to fall in love with your goodies. And then the image I attach to that is my face going, oh. I mean, really, cause you know, 90 days, okay? Oh. <laughs> and then it's next to a flower that's kind of like blurred out. And then it says, the love it guarantee. If you don't love it, we've got you covered for 90 days. You guys, nobody wants to see that unique graphic. Nobody wants to see that little, you know, the box with the three segments. No, 
But if they see my face going, <gasps> they're gonna stop and look at it. Okay, pre-party post number two. And I'm gonna post this picture in the comments. It's one that I want you guys to see because I think half of the awesome sauce to having a killer party and being relatable right out the gate. I have a kitten playing with the most obnoxious toy right now, you guys. I'm so sorry if you hear that. <laughs> um, is having a picture that the guests can relate to immediately, okay? They don't want to enter a beauty boot camp and see something that's unachievable, okay? They don't want to see somebody with this amazing smoky eye. They don't want to see somebody with a winged liner. They don't want to see somebody, oh my gosh. <sighs> they don't want to see somebody with a bright red lip. No, they want to see somebody that they can immediately be like, oh, I'm on her team. Okay, so I post a picture, my very first real picture post in the boot camp is me looking like a hot mess, okay? I've got like, I don't know, I've got my hair halfway back in a ponytail, I've got a kid hanging off my arm, a kid crying at my leg, and another kid, I don't even know what she's doing, sucking on a lemon or something, I don't know. I mean, it is a mess, okay? And it's in their room, so there is crap all over the floor, okay? <laughs> My makeup, I don't even, you can't even tell I have makeup on. It is a mess. I am now them. They are now me. Instantly we bonded because they're like, yes girl, yes, oh, oh, right? We can all feel each other's pain. So in that post, I'm not going to read the whole thing to you. I just tell them, you know, I'm with Unique. I'm, you know, I give them my status level. Um, I tell them that this is my career, not something I dabble in, something I'm passionate about. You're going to be seeing a lot of me over the next 10 days in regards to my professional life, but I've got to let you see a little bit of my personal life, okay? And then I always, you know, I make sure to say, um, you know, mom and ain't easy, but makeup should be, you know, like being a mom I, I, ugh, whoo, is the hardest thing you're going to do, but you know what? Your makeup, that should be easy. Okay. So now I'm telling them when they read that on day one, I am not diving into anything complicated. Anything I'm about to show them is going to be easy. Okay. So now within about 30 minutes of me introducing myself, I make sure my hostess pops in and introduces herself. Obviously they already know her, right? But she's gonna now pop in and say, oh gosh, thanks guys for being here. I am so excited. I know Mary from whatever. And um, you know, whatever, whatever she's gonna write. But I always require my hostess within 30 minutes of me doing my intro, I require that she hops in there and she says something, okay? Your audience, all of those people attending that beauty boot camp, they need to make that connection of how does this, how, how do you know her? How do we, you know, we know her, how does she know you? Because we sure don't know you. So I need her to bridge that, okay? Um, I'm gonna answer your question right now, the, the boot camp. I have just gotten out of the practice of using the word parties. You know, about a year and a half ago, everyone said, stop using party, stop using party. So I just did, I stopped using the word party. And so now I call them all beauty boot camps. I don't want anyone to join into my party thinking that I'm gonna be pressuring them to purchase something. So by saying it's a beauty boot camp, I think it takes that edge off and they're like, okay, maybe we're gonna we're gonna interact or learn or I don't know, what are we gonna do? So that's why I call it a beauty boot camp, okay? You can call it whatever you want. I've just gotten out of, you know, using the word party. Okay, so 
I did my um, love it guarantee. I did my intro. My hostess did her welcome, bridged that gap, okay? Now, I do all of this in one evening. So like I have two parties starting today. This will all start at about five o'clock, okay? So it's like boom, 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 boom. And then tomorrow, we really dive into the party, okay? So now what happens the evening of that pre-party, that first day? I post, um, I post a tips and tricks video, okay? It's one of two, it just depends on which one I click on. It is either how to properly line your lips or it's how to do an eyebrow. These, by doing one of these videos either, I am teaching them obviously some makeup application, but I'm teaching them something that they can turn around and do right then and there without owning any unique products, okay? So I'm teaching them how to line a lip. Well, guess what? They have a lip liner. I mean, who doesn't have a lip liner? They could literally walk away from their phone, computer, whatever, walk into their bathroom, grab their lip liner, and do exactly what I just told them to do and go, it worked. Or brows. When I do my tips and tricks video on my brows, I do pencil on one side, powder on the other. I guarantee anybody who wears makeup, that truly wears makeup, has one of those products, right? I'm gonna teach them something that's gonna blow their mind. I'm gonna teach them to brush their brows down, which nobody ever tells you to do. And I'm gonna tell them how to do brows using either product. And guess what's gonna happen? They're gonna turn their phone off, they're gonna walk into their bathroom, and they're gonna do what I said, and they're gonna go, <gasps> and it was easy <laughs> what did that just do what did I just do on day one I told them we were on the same page right they saw my hot mess Express we became one we bonded right there with that picture of my kids melting down we bonded okay and then I gave them yeah I totally built their trust I gave them something of value. I didn't ask them to buy anything. I didn't even show them how to do something that required our products. I don't mention our products in that video. I don't talk about unique, nothing, okay? I just pick up a liner and I do my lips or I just pick up my brow pencil and I do my brows. So all of my videos, throughout my entire party are pre-recorded, okay? I do not do any lives anymore. I do not do lives, and I will tell you why. I have a couple reasons. <laughs> I was getting exhausted doing lives. <laughs> um, my evenings are my time with my family. And over the years, I have really learned to put my phone down, okay? In order for this business to work, you guys, you've got to have boundaries. You've got to have boundaries. And so evenings in my home, it's my off limits time, okay? That is my time to do homework with my kids. It's my time to make eye contact with my husband. So I, have stopped doing lives because lives generally in parties need to be in the evenings because you want to hit the biggest audience possible, right? You know what I was finding? Two, maybe three people would pop in on my lives and my parties, one being the hostess, and then maybe one or two other people. Well, you know what? Those one or two other people, they're gonna buy whether or not you do a live anyways. Anybody that jumps on your live in a party is probably gonna buy whether or not you do a live, okay? So I have completely cut them out. I also got to the point where if I have like three or four parties happening at one time, how in the world do you do lives? Like I'm, I, honesty moment? <laughs> Honesty moment, doing my makeup is not the most fun thing in the world, okay? There's a lot of other things I'd rather be doing than doing my makeup. 
So I love makeup, it's amazing. But once it's on my face, I'm not taking it off and putting it back on. Oh heck no. So with that being said, I'm not gonna be going live, you know, if I have a math or if I have a party going and they're all on the same exact schedule, meaning let's say it would be today, I would have to go on live and show them how to put mascara on. I am not doing that three times. <laughs> okay, so that's why I don't do lives anymore. That's it's that simple. And you know what? I a while ago I heard um Carol Lewis Newton, she had mentioned that, you know, she got to the point where I mean, that woman has like 20 parties at a time, right? And she, there's just no way possible to do lives. And I thought, you know what? Let's just nip this in the bud. If it's not possible to do them once you're that busy, why in the world would you even start? Just knock it off. <laughs> okay, so let's move into... Oh, you are totally welcome. Let's move into day one, the official day one, okay? So my pre-party posts, it's all about giving, okay? So day one, here we go. Day one, post one. And for those of you that are just jumping on, you're probably wondering, because I keep looking down. I am not in my normal setup. <laughs> I had a little Wi-Fi hiccup right before I went live. So my computer is literally sitting in my lap and I am reading my posts off to you. Okay, day one, post one. <clears throat> we are kicking this boot camp off with my favorite product, Epic Mascara. You guys, it's a one-step mascara, and it's going to blow your mind. If only they read it that way, right? <laughs> it lengthens, it volumizes, and it curls your lashes. Yes, you read that right. Curls your lashes. So in the picture, and I'm going to post this picture in the comments as well, I am wearing a unique hat. I am holding the box of mascara and I have my head down. You don't even see my eyes, okay? Post one, I'm creating intrigue. They have no idea what my lashes look like, but darn, they are curious, right? They're like, well, what's she got under that hat? <laughs> okay, day one, post two. I need you to see what I have to work with in the lash department before we can even move forward. So now I have a picture of me with all of my makeup on minus the mascara. So now here I am in my glory, done, no mascara, and I'm pointing to my eyes, okay? <clears throat> Day one, post three, I jump right into a video, okay? Let's play around with Epic Mascara. This is my instructional video. This is pre-recorded. I just dump it right in the party. I give them tips, I give them tricks, and actually the tips and tricks I put in that video can be used with any mascara, okay? Any mascara. But of course, as I'm applying my mascara, they're gonna see my lashes getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and they're gonna go, well, I need that, <laughs> okay? Day one, post four. <clears throat> it is a picture of me with my chin on my hand and I am looking down and my eyes are closed. Okay? This one always blows everyone's minds because they're like, this is an after picture. Why are you not doing a great big, you know, eye selfie? Because something magical happens when you close your eyes and look down. Your lashes look like falsies, you guys. It is so dramatic. So day one, post four. Check out the after from the video I did earlier. I know most people would show you a picture with eyes wide open, but seriously, don't these look like falsies? Okay. Day one, done. Did in the history books, okay? Day two. <clears throat> I think it is so, so important to not just talk about products in a party, okay? So day two, right out the gate, I lift everyone up, okay? So my image is a, it's a, one of those split images. One, I'm not wearing any makeup and I'm just kind of 
you know, I don't know, staring off into space. <laughs> and then the next one is same angle, same hairdo, but now I have makeup on. Okay, so it's my wake up makeup image. Day two, post five. Good morning. Repeat after me. I am beautiful. I am enough. Trust me, it's taken me 40 plus years to get to a point where I can say that. It is so important to believe in ourselves. I urge you to start every morning saying those two statements. If you have daughters, start it now. Help them start their day with those same two statements. Look at that, look at that. I just removed the whole like, you gotta buy, right? I continue to remove that from my parties. I want you and I connecting the entire time. I want you to feel like you have a new best friend, okay? Um, so then I go on to explain the photo. Let's talk about my makeup wake up. Uh, on the left, I'm fresh faced. On the right, I'm made up. Um, I like to joke around. I say, I can rock glitter eyeshadow as good as any country singer but I still spend most days in natural, simple looks. Um, and then I just say, do you see those lashes? Okay, I don't ask them to buy anything. Mm -mm. I don't even show them the mascara. Okay, day two, post six. Guys, <laughs> this picture I still cringe at when I look at, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I have my hair up in a ponytail and like the kind of ponytail where it's not a pretty ponytail, like the kind of ponytail where it's all like, right? I'm wearing a unique sweatshirt. I'm holding mascara and it's kind of like angled right there on my nose. And I'm doing the old, you know, I'm looking up thing. So <clears throat> once again, cause in every post I do, this is the makeup look, right? It's foundation. It's lashes, my brows are always done because you guys, I was not blessed in that category. So if I posted pictures without my brows, some people would be like, whoa, what happened to her? So um, in this one, day two, post six, place the brush at the root of your lashes. Gently sweep up to a tip. Repeat a second time and voila, instant lashes even on those not so glamorous ponytail days. You guys, do you see how my verbiage is just, it is short, but it's impactful. I am making a connection every time. I'm saying, hey, I don't do my hair every day. I run around in a ponytail, okay? On that image, you know, there obviously are some key things that we want to get across to our, our um, attendees in regards to our products. But I don't always like putting them in the posts. So in that graphic, I write clump free length and curling, 244% increase in volume, tapered tip thickens even hard to reach lashes. Okay, so I just got the point across about what the mascara does, but it's not in the verbiage of my post. Okay. Now, day two, post seven. I put my little hazard um, emojis up. Warning, there is a hazard to Epic Mascara. You are going to feel invincible. So there's a picture of me in my car, right? Cause the car, what? We know this, the car has the best selfie lighting in the world. So I'm sitting in my car and I'm kind of just lounging. I'm probably, I guarantee I'm in the school pickup line. Let's get real. And on the image, you can see that one eye has more mascara than the other. And the graphic says, ditch the fairy tale and be your own lash hero. You guys, not once have I asked for a purchase. I am two full days, two and a half really, full days into this party and I've never asked anybody to buy. Not once, nope. So I do, of course, I post the purchase link in the comments of every post. I mean, people aren't dumb. They know why they're there. 
but I'm not asking. I'm not being like, okay, buy the mascara now. No. <laughs> okay, so the end of that day, I like to switch it up a little bit, have a little bit of fun. So you don't have to do giveaways, you don't have to do games, you don't have to do any of that. But I do like to make sure that I can get interaction. So here I am three days into this party and I want to make sure people are still hanging with me, right? So I'm getting ready to jump into esteem. Esteem is not the easiest product to talk about in a party. I don't know if you guys have tried. It's extremely hard, but it's something I can sell every time now that I know how to go about doing it, okay? So, day two, post eight. I have three graphics, which I never would have done. Um, you know, I normally I would say, don't ever do a graphic. Well, these are funny graphics, okay? So I have a picture of the 1980s lady, the jazzercise lady, right? She has the red high tops on, the pink leg warmers, the red leotard. She's got her like foot up by her forehead. She's stretching it out. Then I have a picture of, it's a collage of girls with really big hair, because you know, we all remember that. And I say, if you can remember participating in any of these looks, then you're gonna wanna see tomorrow's product because it is rad. I mean, come on, right? <laughs> Let's have a little fun. Post a picture of yourself in the comments rocking an 80s look. If I'm doing a giveaway, that's when I will say, you know, all picture, yeah, all pictures will be entered into a drawing. Usually it's like a lip gloss or something, okay? You don't have to do that though. You can just say, post your most favorite 80s look and leave it be. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Elaine. <clears throat> now... Where are we? Day two, post eight. Okay, day three, post nine. Follow me on this one, okay? <laughs> because this is a really, really tricky product. Like I said, it's a tricky product for someone to really trust me on, right? So day three, post nine. Are you guys getting writer's cramp right now? I know you're having to write a lot. I'm sorry. Um. Prepare to give your lashes an insane dose of volume and length with this Lash Serum Esteem. No extensions, no fillers, no falsies needed, just your own lashes maximized. Uh, the Daily Lash Serum increases lash volume by 39%. So basically all I do is I just, I'm not gonna read this all to you, I cut and paste the verbiage off of the website. So for those that don't know, we have to be really, really careful when talking about esteem, okay? We cannot make, um, we can't make claims on what it will do. We can't promise anything. So I literally use the verbiage off the website because I know I'm not gonna get in trouble. If they can put it on the website, I can post it in my party. <laughs> So I then have just a picture of my lashes on July 20th, and then I have a picture of my lashes, lashes from August 9th. I don't say anything. I don't say, wow, look how much longer my lashes are. I don't say anything. I'm gonna let them come to that conclusion on their own, okay? Now, day three, post 10. Day three, post 10, I do use a little bit of a generic graphic the one and only time, okay? Um, I use, you guys have probably seen it, it's a purple, purple graphic, has esteem standing up and down. On one side it says esteem uh, lash serum, has a little directions on the bottom. I insert a lash comparison picture on it, <clears throat> and that's my middle post for that day, okay? I just say, this right here is the amazing esteem lash serum. I was very, very skeptical when we first launched it. So look what I just did. Look what I just did. I just made that connection again, right? I said, I was very, very skeptical. Well, guess what? Everybody on the other side of the phone is very, very skeptical. We just bonded again, okay? Um, I was very, very skeptical when we first launched it merely because of the low price point. Oh, Angie, of course, watch it later. Um, 
I figured there's no way this product could be any good, right? Like I'm literally saying everything that they're thinking, right? I'm saying everything that they're thinking. But boy, was I wrong. My lashes are now amazing. I'm so healthy. Oh, and did you know one bottle is gonna last you like three months? Okay, that's it, that's the end of the post. Now, day three, post 11, because I'm kind of drawn, you know, I'm, I'm reaching here for posts on this serum product, but it is one that I want to get in people's hands. I want to get it in people's hands because it's amazing. It's amazing. It's going to need to be refilled in three months. I know it lasts longer. I understand that. But really, by month four, I mean, think of it like any mascara. Three months, that's it, you guys. You got to get rid of it. It's got eye gunk in it, okay? So it's a product that's going to need a refill. I want this in people's hands, okay? So at the end of that day, I post a sped up video, no verbiage, okay? And it's just me applying a steam. I just show them how to apply it. I show them how to apply it to your brows. That's it. And the only sentence on that post is, so you wanna have healthy long lashes? That's it. Whoo! Okay guys, shake those hands out. I know, you're like writing furiously, right? <laughs> Okay, day four, post 12. I could look at before and after pictures all day long, especially when I know that esteem is currently sitting on my lashes, working its magic. Okay, then I post a graphic that actually has one, two, three, four. It has five sets of eyeballs and I, <laughs> I always tell my team do not post multiple images. It drives me batty, okay? There's just something about, and I'm sure you guys have seen this, like on your own news feed, because hi, we're all friends with presenters, right? You see like three, you know, or I'm sorry, four sets of eyeballs looking at you and you're like, ah! Right, I don't need to see that. I don't care how good the mascara is. I don't need to see that. It's overwhelming. On this image, I've put the eyes on a black backdrop and I've made them very small. So if somebody wants to look at it, they have to actually zoom in, okay? So I will probably show you that graphic in here as well so you can see it. You know, I'm not gonna do a mock party. Um, and the reason being is, first off, there's a million. <laughs> and second, um, I'm just busy. I'm busy doing my own parties, so I don't really have a time or a chance to do a mock party, okay? That's just in all fairness. I'm trying to build my business too, so. Um, okay, day four, post 13. Make sure, so this is a, um, uh, what are those called? A boomerang, okay, boomerang. Here we go. Make sure you share the serum love with your brows. Yes, I said brows. If you're over 35, you're starting to notice that your eyebrows begin to do this nasty trick. Not only do they turn gray, but they fall out. Mm -hmm. So I do a quick little boomerang where I'm just going, right? That's all it is. I'm putting the serum on my lashes, okay? And what did I just do again? What did I just do? I just related to every single woman in that event that's over 35 because she's like, mic drop. Oh my gosh, I'm not the only one losing my eyebrows. Right? Okay. Day four, post 14. <clears throat> it is actually, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you sitting down? It is a picture of my husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a picture of my husband's eyebrows, okay? Uh, one is August 2017 and the other is April 2018. And I just say, think only you will appreciate the lash serum. No way! Look at my husband's results on his eyebrows. 
okay? That's it. So now I've told them that not only are they gonna love it, but their spouse is gonna love it. And if it works on me, and it works on him, it's gonna work on them. I've just given them more hope, okay? All right, woo, woo, woo. we're almost there, you guys. Okay, day five, post 15. The other thing I want you to notice, it may seem like I'm doing a million posts right now because I'm having to read them all to you guys, but I'm only posting three times a day, maybe four times on some days, but three to four times a day, that's it. I am not overwhelming those that are in the event. If you post too much, they're gonna glaze over, get the deer in the headlight look, and they're out, okay? Keep it to three, maybe four posts a day, that's it. Make them the most impactful posts that you can do. Okay, so day five, post 15, good morning. Why must foundation be such a struggle? It seriously is the one product that we love to hate. There are so many choices out there that it just becomes overwhelming. But it comes down to two simple questions. And then I write the questions out. One, what skin type are you? Two, what type of coverage do you want? I have a picture of me in all my glory, like fresh out of bed, no makeup on, nose as red as Rudolph, hair not even brushed. I mean, <laughs> there's no newlywed in her right mind that would let her husband see her looking like that and I'm showing it to the world. <laughs> okay, so again, I have just shown them I am no different than you, okay? Day five, post 16. I do want them, so I guess I should back up a little bit. In my boot camps, I do, I have a fuzz, you guys, hold on. <laughs> I do talk about foundation, but I do uh, really focus on the flawless four. This month was kind of a score because of our kudos, but normally I focus on the flawless four. So it's mascara, esteem, and flawless four. So I need to make sure I kind of cover all of those products. So day five post 16 is a picture of, excuse me, you guys have all seen the picture of the orange, right? Like that's been used a hundred bazillion times. So I do the picture of a lemon, okay? It's me holding a lemon. It's the same image, primer on the lemon, foundation over the primer. It either sinks in or it doesn't, right? Um, so no matter how perfect your foundation is or claims to be, and you know what? So here's, you guys, here's what I'm doing. Because I'm claiming in this event that our foundation is amazing, but I want them to understand. I don't care how amazing the foundation claims to be, you still have to set it up for success, okay? So no matter how amazing uh, your foundation claims to be, you must prep your skin prior to application. Uh, there's an old saying, it's a crime not to prime, but seriously, seriously, would you put paint on a freshly built wall without putting primer on it? No, it would soak right into the drywall. Well, guess what? Your super expensive foundation is doing the same thing on your face. Boom, walk away. Just let them ponder that for a little bit, okay? Let them ponder that. <laughs> <laughs> so day five, post 17, is a video of me. It's like four minutes long. It's actually not even the best video I've ever made. It's pretty bad, you guys. But I had to do it in a room that had color on the wall. So I had to do it in my bedroom. It's up against a green wall. I have a horrible shadow. I mean, it's like, it's the worst quality video I've probably ever produced. <laughs> but... I go on to explain the importance of primer. And I go on to explain as I'm sitting in front of a green wall that if I wanted to paint that bone color today or eggshell or whatever color, I can't expect to take my paint can and just start painting it and it be perfectly eggshell or bone or cream or whatever in one coat. It would take like four coats 
for it to pop and be that color because it's going over such, you know, a dark green wall. But if I slap a coat of primer onto my wall and then I apply my eggshell paint, guess what? I might be able to knock it out in one, maybe two coats. Same is true about foundation. So now I've just done a video in this beauty boot camp about a product that I don't show, <laughs> that I don't really even focus on. All I do is talk about painting a wall. But it totally drives home the importance of primer. Because you know they're priming their walls when they paint. Same thing. Okay, so I've just given value again. Um, okay, so we move on to day six. I do a picture of the Touch Flawless Foundation, the typical split screen, no makeup on one side, touch foundation on the other. In that picture, there is absolutely no blush, okay? Do not put on blush, do not put on bronzer, do not put on eye makeup, you guys. It needs to be foundation only. If you wanna do your brows and your lashes, that's fine. Little lip color, that's fine. But you need to have a true comparison, okay? They don't need to be like wowed by your eye makeup and they don't need to be wowed by your luscious lips, no. You need to show a good comparison, okay? So day six, post 19. I personally love the coverage I received from Touch Liquid Foundation. Can you see it? How could they not, right? Um, that's it, that's it, that's the post. I don't like a lot of verbiage. Have you noticed that? <laughs> <laughs> Day six, post 20, check out how easy, quick, and flawless the foundation application can be. I have a cute um, video with no voice, and it's uh, to the music from Shrek, and then she's, and then you, wait, what's the song? And then I saw her face, something like that, and now I'm a believer. So I am applying my Touch Liquid Foundation to that song. It is like a minute and a half long. It is awesome. Gets a ton, a ton of interaction. Okay. That's it. Uh, day seven. Oh, hold on. Day six post 21. So now we're in the evening. I do another boomerang and it's me holding the flawless four and I'm just going, okay. I mean, hi, that's what you do with boomerangs, right? <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to show you tips and tricks when it comes to foundation application. So now the next day, I'm jumping into content that's gonna help them with their foundation. So I have one, two, three. I have four posts that I do. I have, yeah, <laughs> four posts that I do that day. One for each foundation that we offer, okay? So elephant in the room, obviously right now, I remove the touch pressed foundation. We don't even need to go there right now. So <clears throat> at the moment, I'm talking about three. I'm talking about our touch liquid, I'm talking about the BB cream, and I'm talking about the touch cream foundation. In each post, it is the typical split screen. No makeup, makeup, okay? I, I'm just gonna give you verbiage on one of them because I don't need to go through all of them. Um, let me do. Let me do, so, um, that's not a good one. <laughs> okay, BB cream, let's do BB cream. There are good BB creams and then there are bad BB creams. This one happens to be amazing. Look at the coverage our BB cream gives you. I love this product and the best part, it doesn't have to be worn alone. You can mix it with concealer for a heavier coverage. You can mix it with our Touch Liquid Foundation to remove the matte appearance. You can add pressed powder on top for a flawless finish. There's so many ways to wear our BB cream. Check out my before and after. And then in each of these foundation posts, I make sure the very last sentence tells them what skin type it's for. Great for all skin types except super oily. 
So when I do the powder, I say great for all skin types except dry. When I do the touch liquid, great for all skin types except super dry. When I do touch cream, great for all skin types except oily, okay? So immediately, they can rule themselves out of whatever product just by that one sentence, like, whoop, that one's not for me, whoop, that one's not for me, or oh, hey, that is for me. And look at the coverage she got, okay? Uh, day eight, post 27. Um, so, okay, so now I go into wrap up mode because now I'm at day eight and I'm not gonna go through all of this. Oh, you're welcome, Erica. Um, I'm on day eight. So I start going into wrap up mode, right? I now need to rewind eight days ago. So I post a video and I go, oh, we need to talk, okay? And I have a cute video in there. I've sped up the sound and it's, you know, like that chipmunk sound, oh my gosh, right? And so I'm talking about how amazing the mascara is. And of course I get all up in there and I'm blinking. And I mean, it's just a fun, energetic video to kind of draw everybody back into the party because we've gone a full eight days now. So I want to pull everybody back in, right? So I hit them hard with a really fun, like this girl's had too much coffee type of a video. Okay, I recap the mascara. A little later in the day, I recap the lash serum. End of the day, I actually post, I do three videos in one day that day, okay? I actually post another video. Um, it's to the song American Woman, and I'm just rocking out and I'm doing my makeup. Okay, they're seeing me apply the touch liquid again. We're rocking out to Lenny. I mean, it's just, just fun, okay? Like, I, I wanna be her friend. <laughs> and then day nine, let me go back to my notebook here. Um, oh, you know what, let's do it this way. Ooh, I think I just lost my, oh no, there we go. Okay, hold on. Like how I just tell you to hang on? <laughs> That's so rude. <laughs> Um, okay, day nine. Oh, you guys, come on now. Okay, so day nine, I post a picture of myself. Um, so I, I changed my music by speeding up, well, that was gonna come out all wrong, speeding up the speed. <laughs> I changed the tempo of the music to speed it up and it gets you through the back door. Um, so I do my remain calm post on day nine, right? It is a picture of me, um, again, going, <gasps> right? And I've got, you know, I use word swag and I just write, remain calm. Um, this is it, we did it, remain calm. We're at the very end of the beauty boot camp. I hope you guys had an amazing time. Uh, I do still have one trick up my sleeve, so stay tuned. <clears throat> okay, that's it. And then I have a picture that I've used forever. <laughs> it is a picture of me on my balcony. I am sitting on my patio furniture. I've got my feet up on a table. My laptop is sitting on my lap. I have my office open so they can see that I'm clearly working, right? Um, gorgeous view of our property. And I just say, I had such a blast with you ladies over the past week. Okay, hi. I've not once done a post where I've said, you have 24 hours left to purchase. You have 36 hours left to purchase. Have you purchased yet? No, no. But over the course of the week, of course orders have come in, okay? So I just said, I hope you have a, or I say, I hope you have a, this is why I don't go live. <laughs> I say, I hope you had a great time. Uh, your friend Amy ended up with, and I just throw it out there at that point. We're at the end, who cares, right? Your friend Amy ended up with $192 in white cash, four half off coupons. Um, you know, you guys are amazing. I love you. She is so lucky to have friends like you. 
And then later on, so that's post two, I think, on that day. Later that day, I do, um, I do post a video that is a full makeup video, okay? I do post one video at the very end that's just full on the whole shebang, okay? <clears throat> on the very last day, it's my chill out day, okay? I'm done by that point. I post a picture of my disgusting, filthy house, it's not always filthy, but sometimes it is. And right on there, I put dirty house. Me too. <laughs> I just connected with them again, right? Because they're like, ooh, yeah, I have a dirty house. And I'm all, hey, me too, right? Um, so then I just basically say, you know, if you want to host one of these beauty bashes with your girlfriends, please let me know. I would love to do this. You saw how much fun they are. You saw how quick they go by. <clears throat> and I leave it at that. I leave it at that, you guys. So, okay, hold on. I gotta go back to the notebook because there's a couple of points that I wanna make sure I, I tell you guys. Um, whew, did you guys get that all written down? <laughs> More power to you if you did. <laughs> um, so I coach my hostess, okay? I coach her usually the day prior to the start of a party. And I tell her she has three jobs, okay? Her first job is she has to get people there. I can't do that. I can't do that for her. She's got to get the people there. So whatever that means for her. What I suggest is that she posts on her main Facebook wall and she tells all of her friends, guess what? I'm getting ready to hold a beauty boot camp. One should never have to say beauty boot camp as many times as I have in the past I don't even know how long. That is hard to do. <laughs> um, I'm getting ready to host a beauty boot camp. Let me know if you want to attend. We are going to walk away with so many makeup tips and tricks. Okay? And leave it at that. Then she, of course, because she has to get people there, she has to add the people into the group. I can't do that. So that's her next job is getting people added into the group. I do groups. I don't do events. Um, that's just me. That's my preference. Her next, um, oh, so she needs to get people into the event. I tell her she has to message everybody, okay? Don't be a turd. <laughs> Don't just throw your friends in there, that's rude. <laughs> you need to message your friends and say, hey, Susie, I just added you to the beauty boot camp. It's gonna be so much fun, it's only 10 days. Mary's gonna teach us you know, all kinds of tips and tricks. And I'm gonna get back to that in a second because I didn't really cover that. <clears throat> um, if for some reason you don't want to be in there, you can hop out at any time, but I know you're going to love it. Okay. And that's the key. Don't let her end the message with the negative. Okay. Don't let her end the message of you can leave at any time. No, I don't want them leaving <laughs> End the message on a positive. You're going to love it though. I just know you're going to love it. Okay. So then her second job is she needs to like every single post I do. She needs to like them. She also needs to comment on most of them, okay? I drill that into my hostesses. I am gonna get lost in somebody's newsfeed if my posts aren't being liked and, and um, commented on, okay? So she has to do that. <clears throat> the third thing she has to do, you're welcome, Elaine. The third thing, you're welcome, Nicole. Um, the third thing she has to do, I require my hostesses to do three posts. One at the beginning, we talked about that already, right? Where she says, hey guys, thanks for joining us. I'm so excited, right? Hopefully she matches my energy level, but if she doesn't, that's okay. <laughs> she needs to do a post halfway, halfway through. She can either post a selfie of a product that she loves. If she's not comfortable doing that, then it can just be verbiage, that's fine but I need her active in the group to keep her friends active in the group. So she can ask her friends, what's the best tip you guys have uh, learned so far? She can just say something like, I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. I mean, I don't care, whatever. She can say whatever, but she has to do it halfway through. And then of course, at the end, I require that she does a thank you, 
right? I mean, you just asked a lot of your friends. You asked your friends to hang out with a stranger for 10 days. You better thank them, <laughs> okay? So that is, um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, those are my requirements of my hostess, okay? Like that's non-negotiable, non-negotiable. Because the minute a hostess goes MIA, your party dies dies you guys which you've probably all had that we've all had that i've had that it's the kiss of death um okay i'm so almost done you guys thanks for hanging out with me um, 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 um okay that's all the posts hold on so i make sure i got through everything we talked about the lives I talked about the fact that I don't word vomit, right, you guys? Like, I keep my posts super simple, super clean. I post three times a day. Um, I focus on esteem, epic, flawless four. Oh, I think we covered it all. Um, oh, so I keep my party script. Well, I keep the whole thing saved in a secret group on Facebook, okay? This makes life so easy. So once you have your party script all written out, put it into a group, a secret group on Facebook. That way all you have to do is cut and paste, cut and paste, cut and paste. You can um, either put the images there or you can keep the images on your phone. Just have them accessible like that, okay? That is the key. Otherwise, if you don't have stuff saved, you spend a lot of energy and time scrambling. And that's not the point of this business. Um, the other, one of the other images I'm gonna share in here is the fact that when somebody does purchase, of course I thank them, right? I send them a personal message immediately. Do not do the 24 hour rule, okay? You need to thank your customers within minutes. As soon as you get that notification, that thank you has to be in their message box, okay? Shoot them the message. As soon as they get back to you, um, and usually what I just say is, hey, Sally, oh my gosh, I can't believe you grabbed the Epic Mascara. You're gonna love it. I cannot wait for you to get your hands on it, okay? They always respond and they're like, I'm so excited too, right? Because they're so excited. And then I say, oh, I will let you know as soon as it ships, okay? And then I ask them if it's okay if I thank them on the Beauty Bootcamp page. And of course, they're always like, yeah, of course. Here's the deal, you guys. I do not post a ridiculous graphic. I post usually a selfie of me zoomed in and I'll say, thank you. And then I'll write epic mascara around my eye. And then I thank them, obviously, in the comment. But look what I just did. I'm able to slip in another graphic. Okay, I slip in another graphic. It's one more way for them to see how amazing that mascara is. I'm killing two birds with one stone. Um, the party link gets posted. I think I said it at the beginning, so you probably just didn't catch it. The party link always gets posted in the comments of every post. I do not post the party link when I make the post. Okay, so I will type up my post. I will add my image. I will hit submit. And then about an hour later, usually 45 minutes, I will go into the comments. I will type in the party link. I will hit enter and guess what that does? That now boosts that post on the newsfeed again because it's within that one hour time slot. So it ran when I first posted it and then because I'm commenting on it within an hour, I'm boosting it again on the Facebook feed, okay? So, I, so every 45 minutes after a post is when the party link goes in. It is in the description as well but really most people don't think to look there. <laughs> um, I try to limit my parties. I'm sorry. I try to limit my thank yous to three a day. So what I have found is if you have like four or five purchases come in in one day and you have to 
to post four or five thank yous, your party becomes really busy and it's too much. People get overwhelmed. So even if there's five purchases one day, I'm only posting three thank yous and then the next day I'll push the other two into that next day, okay? Um, I'm gonna, Joanne, I'm gonna get to that in just a second, okay? Um, let's see, the thank yous, party's over. <clears throat> okay, party tips and tricks. Remember, I told you guys in the beginning, I do tips and tricks. So I did, well fly, <laughs> I did that great tips and tricks video that very first night, which is how I broke the ice, it's how we made that connection, it's how we made that bond, it's how they realized I was on their side, right? I find every two days is when I post another tips and tricks video. Now here's the deal. My tips and tricks videos, they're all verbal, okay? There's no music, there's no crazy graphics, they're short. There's not a single one over five minutes. They are never about products I'm featuring in the party, never, okay? It is a way for me to add another product into the party without adding another product into the party. But here's the key, okay? That tips and tricks video, has to be a product that most makeup wearing people already own, okay? So if I did the brow video on day one, I'm gonna do the lip liner video the next round. I'm gonna do highlighting and contouring, or contouring, I usually don't do highlighting because not everybody has a highlighter, but everybody has some form of a bronzer. And I make sure they understand you can contour with a bronzer. You can contour with brown eyeshadow. You can contour with a contour stick. Like it's, there's no limit, you know? As long as it's got a brown tone to it, you can contour. <laughs> you can do a foundation powder and contour. Um, and then what's my third one, you guys? I'm having a brain fart. I don't remember what the third one is. But I do them every two days, okay? Every two days. It's a way for me to slide another product in, but it's also a way to solidify our relationship, okay? They're gonna run to their makeup drawer and they're gonna pull out their bronzer and they're gonna go, holy cow, that works, okay? Um, <clears throat> okay. So as soon as somebody purchases, I told you I send them a message. Usually within three days, the product is shipped. You guys know shipping is so fast right now. So then I send them the message saying, hey, guess what? It is on its way. And I mean, like, honestly, right now, everything's arriving within five days. It's mind blowing. So about a day or two after the person has received the item, I'm like, hey, do you love it? And of course, everyone's like, oh my gosh, my old mascara is already in the trash or whatever. And then I go, oh, it makes my heart so happy, so happy. Why don't we do this for your friends? I mean, I just jump right in there. Why don't we do this for your friends? You saw, you saw how much fun you just had. I, you know what? I have May 18th open. You want to do it? So here is what I found, you guys. So remember in the beginning of the video when I said when you are cold messaging, you are going to need a message like, 35 to 50 people to get one party. When you start messaging people who purchase in a party, that ratio shrinks. They're excited. They just had a great time. They love the product that's in their hand. And all of a sudden they're like, yeah, I want to do this. So I'm just going to use the numbers off the most recent party that I had. It had 190 people by the time we ended. It was like 220 when we started. People are gonna leave, get over it. It's no big deal, okay? Had 190 people. That gave me access to 190 women, you guys. 190 women. This is where I totally geek out and get excited, okay? If I go to a vendor event, rarely, even if I do a vendor event that has 10,000 people, and I have done those, I don't have interaction with 190 people. No, 
I sell what, maybe 60 mascaras in an event that large. I have access to 190 people. I have 20, this last one was 21 or 22 purchases. Every single one of those I sent friend requests to. Every single one, okay? They automatically went in my VIP group. Out of those 21, I have three new parties starting. Look at that. I messaged 21 people and hooked three parties, okay? There are others who are on the fence, but I have three confirmed. This is why parties are so huge. There is, I'm sorry, there is no other form of getting ourselves out there better than this. There's no form. So <clears throat> I usually about three days after the event is totally over. I post the link for my VIP group in there and I just say, hey, the fun doesn't have to end. You guys hop into my VIP group. It's more of this all the time. And then what's funny is, is usually the hostess will say something like, it was once I was in Mary's VIP group that I realized how much I love this woman, you know? And so all of a sudden your VIP group is like, that number is going up and up and up and up. Okay. I have had people attend parties, not purchase anything, hop into my VIP group, start following me on Facebook and four months later make a purchase. It happens all the time all the time so amy or who was that hold on <clears throat> joanne i hope that helped um i do you know in regards to adding them as friends the 170 that didn't make purchases i do still reach out to it is labor intensive it's one of those tasks a lot of times people go oh heck no um, but I do still reach out to that 170 after the party is over and I, uh, I do send friend requests, but I do it with a message, of course. Um, if you have friends that are in, hold on. If you have friends that are in other friends parties. Yeah. So, you know, um, it happens a lot. <laughs> It happens a lot. So usually what I tell them is I tell the party host out the gate, you know, I run a few parties at once and in order to keep my sanity, I do have to keep my script the same. Um, if for some reason they have an issue with that, I do tell them that, you know, in about four months I will be changing my party script because it's about how often I make little tweaks to it. So if she wanted to wait four months, which I never recommend, she can, you know. Um, but you know what? When I am honest with people and I say, because of the amount of parties I'm doing at once. Oh, geez. Cats. Um, hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Problem solved. Um, when I tell people that, you know, this is my business. This is what I'm focusing on. And because I'm running so many parties at once, I have to use the same script. Most everyone's okay with it. Do you guys hear that? I am telling you, having a kitten in the house, ah, I thought kids were hard. Knock it off. Um, and honestly, most people are totally fine with that. They're okay with, they get it, they get it. How in the world can I come up with that much amazing content? and have it be switching all the time. You can't, it's not possible. So what I do, I will, this is what I will tell you. If there is somebody where I see, like if I'm doing a party that has a group of 20 and then I do another party that has a group of 20 and I see mutual people in there, I will immediately send them a message, like day one. And I will say, oh my gosh, we meet again. I want them to know that I'm not dumb. I know that they're there. And I will just be honest with them and I'll say, you know, you're going to see a lot of the same material. Um, you know, let me know if you have any questions. Here's the deal. They're not seeing all of my material the first time anyways. You guys, you don't see all of your friends' posts all the time. They're not seeing all of my posts. 
So they could easily miss something on the first party and then catch it on the next one, okay? So I wouldn't even sweat that. Um, okay, yeah, do you guys have any more questions? I think I'm done. I just, I, it's so hard because I love parties so much. They have opened my business up for me in a way that I didn't think possible. Um, and I, I know it's so easy to be on the struggle bus when it comes to parties. It's so easy to take the negative platform. But you've got to find your groove. You've got to find... You've got to find a way to make that connection with the women in the party. You just do. Okay, guys, I'm going to get out of your hair. Um, I was a ton of information. If you have specific questions, please feel free to ask. I will try to answer them in here. Um, and I am going to make sure I post a few graphics so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'm not going to post any of my videos because I'm just not. <laughs> How do you like that answer? Um, but get out there, go get those parties. One party is going to turn into three parties. Three parties is going to turn into nine parties. Next thing you know, you're going to be the party queen. Okay. Um, also last tip I'm going to give you, make sure you have at least one party going at the end of the month, okay? Make sure you always have one party at the end of the month. That way you can wrap into the beginning of the month, have a strong end to the end of the month, have a strong start to the beginning of the month. It will blow your mind. Okay, guys, have an amazing day. Bye.